I'm becoming a little bit less bullish on Bitcoin Cash. Um, just watched some videos from Crypto Daily. I will link it below. Um, it's a new channel, but the guy uh, is very interesting. He's very good, young guy, and um, uh, he says that well. He, he understands the problem, so he, he is in support of uh, Bitcoin Cash uh, on a theoretical level, but practically he thinks that, um, well, people will perceive Bitcoin Cash as just another Bitcoin copy. Uh, uh, it's just, it's not the real thing. The real thing is Bitcoin, and that's the only real thing. He doesn't say it in those words, but that's how, how it looks to me. And and I think he might prove to be right about that. He will get probably more, much more Bitcoin forks because, uh, well, it's a lucrative business. Uh, when the first Bitcoin fork is, 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 is valued in the billions, many more will likely follow. So this will be uh, difficult for Bitcoin Cash uh, and will be in the advantage of Bitcoin because, uh, well, people are going to get tired of that real quick, probably. Um, and um, and um, although it has a lot of support, Bitcoin Cash, it also has, has a lot of resistance. Um, and indeed, Bitcoin Cash is not only uh, competing with Bitcoin, but also with all the other cryptocurrencies. Um, so I decided to sell a little bit of my position at a small loss. It's now at 0 0.09. Um, uh, as I need to sell some things uh, because I am busy uh, balancing to 70% fiat, 30% crypto. Um, and so, but I'm also selling a little bit of Zcash and a little bit of Monero. Um, yeah. So. Another thing I have to say is that uh, Frank from Blue Magic has called uh, the market very well up until today. Even though I have chosen to scale back on his portfolio, he's, uh, he has done extremely well. Uh, he called also the value of Bitcoin Cash correctly between 0 0.05 and 0 0.15 and before it launched and said uh, that you sh uh, it would be a great buy at 0 0.05. It actually went to 0 0.06 uh, so, and up until today that was a good buy. Uh, but he does see lasting value there, and I also see lasting value there, but um, the thing is that um, yeah, I still think that the bear market will uh, be down. Um, smaller caps, a lot more than larger caps. Uh, unless the larger cap went up a lot, like Ethereum, that's an exception, it went up a lot, so it will get beaten down a lot, also in the coming bear market. But, uh, but things like Bitcoin that didn't go up as much, uh, will go down a lot less and Bitcoin Cash, well, that's a bit like, that's a new, well, that's a new thing, so that may, might get beaten down a lot too. Um, like Byteball got beaten down, it's starting to, uh, its way down real well now, it's zero point, uh, it's something with uh, 10 or 11 or 12, but um, always versus Bitcoin. Eh? But it peaked out at 36, eh? so that's already three times higher from here that it corrected the down. Uh, but um, yeah, what I find most interesting is that some people like Frank from Blue Magic, this new guy from Crypto Daily, and and and, and other people that uh, I think are very smart people really think this bull market will continue. Um, and um, and um, that is um, yeah, that is that is very surprising to me. And these people are very, I, uh, very deeply invested in the crypto market. Still, like talking 80, 90 percent plus of their portfolios invested, and these are not small portfolios anymore these days. So, I, 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 I'm very like uh, conflicted about this. Like uh, on one hand, I think they might actually prove to be right, and uh, and, um, and 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 I think in general. The younger generation uh, is better in touch with the market than uh, older generation like me. Uh, so, so, so I think usually younger people can learn from older, older people. Older people can continue to learn a lot from younger people too. So, so, so it's interesting to see this crypto crypto daily guy of the. the, the he has some interesting videos about what cryptocurrency finds uh, very interesting and undervalued today. Eh? Uh, and I have to say that his selections are interesting to hear. 
um, uh, you will see it on this channel click the link below in my uh, YouTube sus uh, subscription um, description um, what else uh, can be said about the markets um, in investing it seems that every time I'm right I feel like wow I was right about something that it's the time to change my mind and sell it uh, for example recently with Bitcoin cash uh, I buy it it goes times two times three in two days so I'm like wow I'm, I was right and then instead of selling I think it's gonna go higher and the same is in the true in the other direction like yeah bite ball I've been selling and indeed it has gone down a lot now and um, now I'm thinking oh, I was right look luckily I sold some but probably I should be buying now uh, I'm not like feeling like a hero that hey look I was right no yeah okay you can think that but you should also go into action and, 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 and yeah and it was the same some time ago when the market crashed from from 115 billion to 60 billion everybody was like hey Mark you were right and uh, yeah should have acted on it too and should have bought crypto <laughs> instead of selling on a rebound so rebound some more uh, at 80 to 75 billion I sold some more no I should have um, bought some and then so <clears throat> that's very interesting so yeah today I'm right uh, about bite ball should probably buy some and um, I was wrong about uh, it being a bear market we're in a bull market again but um, that means that yeah it's not bad that I'm selling it just in this bull market um, and that's what I'm doing so um, Yeah, um, another interesting email I got, uh, I'm gonna read it to you. Hey Mark, uh, check this out and he links to a Wikipedia article uh, titled uh, Hype Cycle. I will link it also below in the video. I stumbled upon this effect by accident and couldn't help but relate to cryptocurrency. As it definitely feels like we're nearing the peak of inflated expectations, mass media hype. Maybe I would have thought the same if I read this in 2013 also, he says between brackets. Oh, and one more thing that's alarming. Nearly everyone I meet knows about cryptocurrencies. And I don't mean he, she has just heard about it. For example, I was buying a burger and jokingly asked the cashier if they accept Bitcoin. He said no, but I have some Ripple and I'm looking at CoinMarketCap on my monitor at this moment. <laughs> On another occasion, I met two random girls at the bar who mentioned Gladia coin. It's a Ponzi, he says between brackets. And one coin. And had a friend working there. I'm from Bulgaria, he says between brackets. There's a lot of people in the field that have absolutely no idea what they are doing and what the technology is about. And that is never a good thing, he says. From Plamen is the name. So thanks so much Plumman for the, e for the email and I got uh, such emails uh, sometimes uh, another one too uh, with similar um, similar observations and uh, I agree that this is very important and um, and um, I agree it is very important and that's why why uh, and, and it's a strong indicator we are in a hype we are at valuation that are too high because these people will not remain invested they will get shaken out so what kind of correction will do that a correction that takes many many months and goes down a lot will do that uh, these small small corrections that we've seen twice to 60 billion that lasts only a couple of weeks no they don't do that eh? uh, uh, it needs to be a lot longer so so I think that will come but of course that's the fucking difficult thing is hypes can go so much higher and can go 
so irrational and so insane that you have to be very very careful to uh, to, to get out uh, completely uh, because um, because well you know it's a missed opportunity if you do that so that's why I choose to still be invested 30% in crypto even though uh, there are many indicators that we're at um, uh, that, 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 that sooner or later valuations will be lower than today. Um, thanks so much for watching. Bye.